friends welcome back to my channel this is loli we're gonna have a fun time together i'll see you guys later let's go drafting diy number one for this project i'm using one of these little shadow boxes from the dollar tree i just removed it back in it was a little hard to remove but i just corded with my little thing there and popped it off and i'm gonna take the little kitten off this was the hard part actually guys i don't know what glue they used but it was not easy to take out i had to just spray it open and then I took as much of the paper off as I could and then I'm going to sand it down so everything is nice and flat. Then I took this paper pack that I got from Temu and I'm going to go ahead and put it on my piece and crease it so it tells me exactly where to cut it. So I just went over it with my fingers making sure to create a crease and I'm just going to flip it over and let that line um, guide me to cut that. Then I took some Mod Podge and I'm going to completely saturate the surface of that packing and I'm going to go ahead and place my paper back on there. It's pretty thick so they had no issues with any creasing. Now while that dries I'm going to work on the frame. I just gave it two coats with my white apple barrel paint and I make sure to clean off the back. Now that everything is dry I'm going to go ahead and reposition my backing. I just use some hot glue to put it back into place. Just flipped it over, put it on, pressed it down, and we are done with that part. So now we are going to go in and embellish this. I'm going to use some of these bunnies that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to stain them using the furniture pens from Dollar Tree. I did three different shades. I wanted to create like an ambery effect. And I'm going to put them in that order. But first I need to add a little bit of hot glue and some floral moss to the bottom here. And I just did that, you know, very quickly, making sure to hurry up before that glue dried. And then that I had that base color, that base amount of um, floral moss on there. I cleaned it off and now I'm going to go ahead and start gluing my bunnies on there right next to each other. Again, creating an ambery effect. Going from lightest to darkest. Friends, if you find any value in this video and you enjoy what you see, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And then I put some floral moss in the front of the bunnies to give it the effect that they are playing in the grass. Then I'm taking these yellow flowers from a pick on the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut, go ahead and cut them in two different picks to shorten them. And I'm going to position them on each end of the little shadow box. I started putting one in the corner. I added a double hot glue in the back of the shadow box and pressed this in place until it got dried. Then I'm taking another half and I'm going to press it on the other side. But I wanted to add some greenery to this as well. So I took some of the green, um, the leaves that this pick hat and I'm going to glue it in the middle behind the bunnies. I spread the stems apart so they would look like vines. I made sure to add a dab of hot glue extra to make sure that everything was in place and now I'm going to go in and add the other part of the yellow flowers to the other side so I just added some hot glue to the bottom of them and I put them right on the other corner. Hi friends, consider subscribing to my channel. It is free and it means the world to me. And this is how it's looking so far. But you know already, I'm not done yet. We gotta do a little bit more. So what I did is I took this little bow that came from another um, project and I placed it right in the middle and now we are done. Let me know what you think. I love this piece. I, thought this, I think it's so, so adorable. Let me know if you like it. And friends, this video is part of a collaboration, the 5 under 5 DIY challenge. And we are going to be doing Easter decor. And this challenge is hosted by Missy from Crafty Cove DIY, Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and the co-host this month is Dawn from Designs by Goddess. And the link to their channels and to the playlist will be in the description box below. Don't forget to visit the playlist and give everyone some love. DIY number two. For this one, I'm going to use one of these. Um, is it a, it's a picture frame, yes, from Dollar Tree. 
and I'm going to go ahead and paint the beads a lighter color that goes more with Easter. So I chose this blue color from uh, Waverly and I'm going to give it two coats there. It was hard to take off this backing so I just opted to just put some wrap there and paint it that way. Then I'm going to take these bunnies from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack, I believe, of eight. I'm using five of them. And I'm going to paint them first, three of them, using my yellow daffodil from Apple Barrel. I'm just going to give it one full coat. And then I'm coming in with this light leg mist from Apple Barrel. And I'm going to paint the other two bunnies. And then using my paint pen, I wrote the word hoppy on the bunnies using one letter for each one of the bunnies. For this, I use my Arteza white paint pen. So guys, the plan here was to put the bunnies in between the beads and stick them onto the root cord there. But as you can see, that doesn't work out that way. For some reason, I thought they would fit. <laughs> Don't ask me why. But anyway, I had to scrap that idea. So what I did is I took the twine off the back and I just, you know, loosened it up completely and the plan the second plan was a plan b was to just go ahead and cut it in the middle get rid of some of those beads and just leave the amount of beads that i will need to put in between but hey guess what there still wasn't enough space for all the bunnies so plan c it was so i ended up you know scrapping it all together i removed the twine and we're just gonna stick the bodies to the boat to the board but I wanted to bring in some more of that green feel and that grassy feel. So I added floral moss around the entire um, border of the, um, what do you call it this again? <laughs> the entire border of the picture frame. And then I came in with the bunnies once again, guys. Here, uh, thank goodness, oh, thank goodness, I'm sorry. They finally fit. So plan C it is. So I went over and I'm going to use some hot glue to attach these to the top. I started with the middle to make sure that my spacing was right. And then I worked on the side ones. I started with the corners again to make sure that everything stayed nicely spaced and nicely centered. Now I'm taking this Easter metal sign that I got at the Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of three different words. And I'm going to paint it using my pool color by Waverly. And then I'm going to come in with this aqua color from Apple Barrel. And I'm, while this is wet, wet still, I'm going to go ahead and give it a coat of that. And I kept just going back and forth between the two colors until I got to the color that I wanted. Here I wanted to see how it looked dry. It was still a little too light for me. So I came in with the aquamarine color from Apple Barrel and once again just a little lighter brush of the pool color and I kept going back and forth until I got to the color that I wanted. I really wanted those colors to like blend but also have kind of highlights as well. And here it is how it ended up. Once it was dry I took some of my gel super glue, I added in some parts and I added hot glue in others to help me secure it right away. And here it is so far. I hope you guys like it. I love it. Let me know what you think. DIY number three. For this DIY, I'm going to be using that picture frame from the Dollar Tree, that cross you see there, and some of that um, craft paper, or actually, what do you call it again? Yeah, scrapbook paper from the doll from um, Michaels. I got that from a recent grab bag I had. Guys, this was awesome. I got like four different ones. I am pretty pleased with that. So anyway, I took um, the glass from the, the picture frame and I'm going to use it as a template to know how much of my scrap paper I need to cut. I went over and cut that section off and we are going to scrap the glass. I'm going to keep it just in case I need it for some other DIY and I'm gonna just go ahead and put just the paper there it was a tad bit big so I went over and trimmed just a little bit so it will fit fit there nice and flat 
then I reposition everything back onto the back end of my, my picture frame and I'm going to remove that bottom part of the cross and this cross is going to go right on there. We're going to just go ahead and glue that on using some hot glue. Place it right at the center. I wanted to leave some room in the top and there we go. And just like that guys, this is it. Nice and simple. Let me know what you think. I love this one. I love crosses. I have so many around the house, but hey, let me know how you like this and if you like to recreate it. Here we go, DIY number four. So for this project, I use one of these um, wood rounds from the Dollar Tree. And here I'm using the Black & Decker paint, guys. I don't know about you guys, but chalk paint is expensive now. I got a little quart of the Waverly that I usually use is $24. I wasn't about to pay that. I got this at Ollie's. Anyway, then I use some of this um, thick wax and I'm going to use it to completely stain this reed form that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I also use this cross that I also find at the Dollar Tree. I removed the bottom part of it, sand it off the end where I cut it, guys. I had a hard time cutting this. Make sure you score it and just cut it off. Don't try to pry it out of that um, part there. Anyway, once that was done, I'm going to bring my wood round back and I'm going to position my cross there in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the reed form to make sure this is centered. Once I was happy with the placement, I put some hot glue down and I'm gluing my cross right down to that whiteboard. Then I took the hanger that I took off of this board to begin with and I'm going to go ahead and reposition it because this is going to be a hanger for our new project. As I'm doing this, I'm thinking I should have added some beads. So maybe I'll go back and, and do that. Let me know if you guys will prefer that as well. Anyway, guys, then I'm taking that reform and positioning back on and I'm going to glue it using some hot glue. I love this, guys, because it, to me, it looked like the crown of thorns that our Savior wore to pay for our sins on the cross. Once the glue dried, I used some of these flowers and its greenery to position all around the reed form. I had four of the flowers, I just spaced them out, you know, in equal distances. And I'm going to go ahead and use the greenery that came with it and I'm going to position it in between where the yellow flowers are. And, you know, pretty much that's what I did on here. Just try to keep everything in the same direction. Guys, if you're still with me, thank you so much for your support. This really helps my channel and lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content so I will show it to more people. And here it is all completed. Let me know what you think. I love this piece guys, it has so much significance. Let me know what you think, leave me a cross emoji. DIY number 5. For this project I'm using one of these reed forms from the Dollar Tree and two rolls of that burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I just started by creating a small little tab and gluing it on with a bit of hot glue using my silicone spatula to avoid any burns. And I just simply wrapped it, space, trying to space it as equally as possible throughout the entire reed form. And here it is all done. Now I'm coming in with this um, sign from the Dollar Tree. I removed the ties and I'm going to glue it to the top. And I'm going to also glue the bottom. Then I'm going to take some of this ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I made two of these little bows and I'm going to glue them to where both of those little holes are on the bunny's ears. I made sure to dovetail the ends of this ribbon. And guys, I usually do the bows the same way, just cinch them in the middle after doing an awareness bow. And I just repeated the same process with both of these. And I'm just folding long ways the tabs and cutting them in an upward angle. And that's what it means by dovetailing the ends. Then I like to burn my ends a little bit to avoid any kind of unraveling, especially if they're nylon-like or polyester-like um, ribbons. And I did that with both of the ears. Now I'm gonna go ahead and 
add my hanger. So I took a piece of jute cord and put two um, nuts at each end. And I'm going to fold it to create a loop in the back of it. And I'm going to add a dab of hot glue, add my, my um, jute cord on there. And I just created a small um, hook to hang that up. While that was getting set, I'm going to use some of these little carrots from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using my Artisa paint pens and some felt tip uh, markers that I got at Dollar Tree for this. I used my Artisa paint pens and I did like a rough um, coating, like small lines, leaving some of that wood to peek through. And I did that with both of these colors. And after I did this, I came in with my um, felt tip paint pens from Dollar Tree and I filled in with the orange. The orange this just gave this a little bit more of dimension and variation on the color. And I did that with the orange part and the green part. And I did a total of eight of these little carrots. Once the carrots were dry, I'm going to just go ahead and glue them in different positions on the sides of my bunny. Just, you know, make it look, you know, nice and symmetrical, but also a little random. And this is what it's looking like so far. And that's it. Here it is. Let me know how you like, you guys like it. This is one of my favorites. The two reads, guys, are one of my favorites. Let me know which ones are yours. Friends, as always, thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly. And here are my social media pages if you'd like to follow me there. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to visit my friends. All right, take care of yourselves. Have a nice day. Bye.